Hello everyone's everyone's I'm Lady T506 or welcome to my channel. I'm here for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10 episode 5. And now that you've already clicked on the video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and make sure your notifications are on. Now Sheree. I'm assuming you didn't been around a fight or two in your life. Now, you know better than jumping between people when they fighting. We got Kenya standing up. We got Kim standing up like they're going to do something like security is not right there. But, Sheree, you jumping in the middle. What if one of them could have got a lick off and you would have got hit? Croy, he appears from nowhere because Kim's like, you don't say nothing about my daughter. You don't say nothing about my daughter. I had to rewind like eight or nine times because like something spilled. And I'm thinking Sheree may have accidentally like dropped something. Now y'all I, I don't not only fighting in this woman's house, but now y'all breaking stuff and y'all spilling stuff. I'm like, what's good? Kim's mad. But Kim, like Nene said, you can't be putting stuff out here about your daughter that makes her look bad and you bad too. And dig in mad when somebody stay on it. You should have never made a post like that. Now, yeah, we don't bring kids into this situation, but I'm going to have to take up for Kenya this time. Kenya was sitting over there minding her business. Kim, for whatever reason, decided to poke at the bear. And if you ask me, Kim knew that she didn't sign a check with Bravo that she had to do with obligatory, you know, so many episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 10 if she, unless she wanted to get paid. Let me call the scene to where I don't really have to be here because I don't want to be here. That way, I ain't even got to do this scene. You can't tell me that didn't happen because every time it's time to get together with Kim, what happens? Kim can't go. We're supposed to go out of town. Kim can't go now because she's all, you know, hurt and and ready to fight what went down over at Nene's house with Kenya. Then, the oddest thing. She, Croy, and Sheree leave, but they go to Portia's house. I'm like, when did Portia and Kim become that close to where I can just pop, at your, pop up at your house because I need to talk? Like, when did this happen? Like, why ain't we just going home? Why we gotta go to Portia's house and then relay the message to what was going on to them? I'm like, girl... Kim says that Kenya said something about her injured son. Now, Sheree didn't hear it and I didn't hear it. So, I don't know where she got that Kenya was talking about her injured son. But then Portia didn't make matters better. because She's like, you don't talk about people's injured kids and you don't people talk about people's whole daughters. I'm like, Kim, she just called your daughter a hoe. Why are we up trying to fight her? Just wondering. We got Sheree going to another place to relay the message. Because you know she always got to go around and just tell what's going on. But y'all, I was a little like taken aback. Because you know, she got a different style of braids. Now, I don't know how long. But I'm assuming it was just like a few days. But I thought when you get braids, you're supposed to let your hair breathe. Because she went to the faux locks to having some cornrows. Y'all clarify that for me. But one side of her head looked like it was, you know, braided a little too tight. And her meat looked like it was sticking up. Now, y'all didn't have an experience where you didn't got your braids done. And they was just a wee bit too tight. And then your, like, meat starting to stick, stick up. It looked painful is all I'm saying. But Don Juan, before she got there, and he let her know when she got there, I'm going to need verification about what you about to say from another person was there because you know how you love to add and subtract what went on in the conversation. So I don't know if I can fully, you know, go by what you're saying. But I'm going to listen, but I don't know how much of it's going to be true. I'm like, that is so true. Sheree, she is forever, like, leaping adding something to a story or leaving something out to make somebody look bad. Mm. So we decided we going to uh, San, um, San Francisco and while they on the bus, you know, Shrey, you know, lets it known that she got her new man named Tyrone. You know, he's been currently locked up. You know, it's Nene knows this Tyrone. This is the same Tyrone from a few years ago that Sheree was talking to Tyrone, saying Nene said some stuff about her and they had this big old blowout. That same Tyrone, but she said before he went in, he kind of broke up with her because 
he didn't want her involved in what he had going on, which me, led me to believe, you know, girl, he in jail. He didn't done something wrong. But the fact that he didn't want you involved seemed like some type of federal stuff, like I was scamming some people, something like that. So why are you with this man? Because seemed like he ain't that good. Now people, that can change. But he in jail, but you in love now. Alright, I ain't gonna sit here and tell Sheree who she can love. But if the man went to jail and he don't want you to be, you know, involved legally, maybe it's not such a good thing. So, Sheree has this bright idea. Let me get, while we're on vacation, mind you, Nene and Portia together to discuss what got them, what's going on with them. Like, we ain't even gonna wait till we get back to town. We gonna wait till, like, the first night we were here for y'all to handle us. And y'all, basically, the argument went like this. You're angry. No, you're angry. You need anger management. No, you need anger management. You said this about me on the show. No, you said this about me on the show. I was there for you and nobody else was. Me and Candy was the only one that was there for you. And you sat there and said all this mess about Candy. Candy in the background was like, yes, I was there for her. And she said all this negative things. And negative and untrue and could have got me in a lot of trouble business-wise about me. And you have yet to apologize. That I believe. So it was basically back for you angry. No, you're angry. You need anger management. No, you need anger management. But I can't say Nene has fussed and cussed some people out. But she ain't never attacked anybody, Portia. I'm just going to say that. Nene yelled so much that her bun came undone. And I about hollered when Marlo was while Nene was still yelling at Portia. Fixed her bun for her. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Y'all... Sheree, why did you feel the need to have them men fences now? Like, if they not going to be friends, just let them not be friends. So, that was basically the gist that went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave it. Oh, yeah. Kenya's grandmother passed away. The grandmother who raised her. You know, her mama was like, basically, I don't want nothing to do with this child. Take this child away from me. Her daddy's mama raised her from baby on up. She's like, that's my baby right there. And Kenya feels that her grandmother, you know, held on until, you know, she finally got married. Her husband, you know, met the grandmother and her grandmother's past. So now she's dealing with that. She don't want no more stress in her life. She just don't. So that was the gist of everything that went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or video response. And like I always want to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.